Hi everyone, I'm your host Lokanir Kumar and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the quality setting in Pymol and make really high quality publication quality figures. In this video I'm going to show you step by step how to import the structure, how you can change the setting and make nice looking figures. We will be taking the example of tool like receptor 9. I will process the structure. I will use the setting. I will save the images. After that, we will compare these two images where we'll have low quality image as well as the high quality image. We'll compare the images and you will know that what is the difference between the two. I hope this video is going to help you to make really high quality, good quality, publication quality Pymol figures and you will definitely impress the reviewers. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. Alright, let's start the video. I'm going to show you how you can make publication quality figures in Pymol. I'm going to show you what is the important quality setting in Pymol that will make a huge difference in the quality of your figure. For that specific setting, what you need is you need the Pymol software in, installed in your system and then you need a structure. For that, I'm sure now you are fully aware that you can use FETCH space, this fetch command to get the structure you need. In this case, I'm going to use 5ZLN. So after entering, you will get the structure immediately imported into the Pymol. So Pymol is basically connected with the protein data bank. So when you use the fetch command, immediately the structure gets imported into your software. Now you can see this is a complex structure. You have so many things in there. And when I, when I talk about the quality, you will see that I can show you the difference and we need to basically make sure that quality of the structure is good, right? Now you can see I have so many things uh, displayed on my on my Pymol and uh, before I, I start doing anything with this structure, let me tell you what is this. So this structure is basically crystal structure of mouse toll-like receptor 9 in complex with a DNA molecule. Right now, it's so messy, we can't see anything, right? So, first we need to refine something in this structure or delete some extra portion of the protein structure so that uh, the structure looks good. As you can see, this is a dimer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, the specific chains. In this case, I'm going to delete one of the chain. So, for that, what you can do is basically select the chain from the right side and then click on the specific chain that you want to delete then go to uh, a and now you can remove atoms you can still see you have red dots and these are water molecules and you can delete them you can hide them right now i'm going to delete them so remove waters and additionally you have uh, some portion of the dna you can see here and also the uh, uh, this toll-like receptor 9 protein. To, to select specific molecules, I'm going to go to the sequence on the right side and now you can see the sequence here. When I go to the end of the sequence, you can see there are these additional molecules that we need to delete. Right, so you can basically drag and select all of them. And you don't want DNA molecule to get deleted, so I'm going to only select the other molecules and select go to a remove atoms now i still have extra dna molecule so i'm gonna get rid of that by just selecting these chains and you can also select these small extra molecule molecules but before that uh, okay let me let me just select them so I'll select them, I'll go to the A and remove atoms. So now what you are seeing is little refined structure of toll-like receptor 9 bound with the DNA molecule. Toll-like receptor 9 binds to the DNA molecule. 
So the ligand for two like receptor nine is DNA molecule, right? And if I want to use this figure for my publication, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to change the quality. So quality is more visible when you have surface visualization. So to do that, what I'm going to do is show, I'll go to the S which is show surface. And when you click on that one, you'll see that you have this donut shaped structure, typical to like receptor nine structure. And you can, you can see the quality is bad, right? So before making the quality better, let me change the color. So to do that, what you want to do is you go to the surface and then go to the color and light gray. Okay. Now you can see everything is light gray, right? So first what I'm going to do is save this structure so that we can differentiate. To save specific structure, you go to the draw ray on the right, right top corner of the PyMole window. Click on that one and uh, click on ray slow. Now this specific option is only available in the uh, in the version paid version okay so you have to pay some money to get this option but in in the educational version you can directly save the image as you can see this is a specific image and uh, it is telling me to save the file i can save the file uh, all right just save the file in the picture i already have some of my my tutorial pictures here so i'm going to save this as uh, one Okay, so I already have one here. So let's let's do A and enter. Now let's change the quality of this one. Okay, just one setting. So you'll go to the display and then there is this option quality. And now you have sub options like maximum performance, reasonable performance. Now you have to do is maximum quality. When you do that, it's gonna take some time and after that, you can see it's loading, right? After that, you will see the difference. Okay, it is done. Now, I hope you can see the difference. The surface is more defined and the quality of the this particular structure or the figure is really good. Let me save it so that I can compare both the images. How you can do is go to the ray slow so basically when you do ray slow, your image quality is really high. Now, after clicking on ray, you can see I have second image with the different quality setting. I'm gonna save this image as B, right? So I'm gonna click here, save it as a B. Now it's saved. Okay, let's see the difference. For that, I usually open my uh, PowerPoint software. On the slide, I'm going to paste all the images that I have saved. So the images, basically, they are in the pictures folder A and B. As you can see here, I have these two images. And now if I paste these two images, Let's see if you can figure out the difference. I hope you can. So this is high quality and this is low quality. You can clearly, basically you can clearly see that, let me zoom in. In this case, the image is little blurry edges are not smooth, right? If you go zoom in here, you can see the edges. They are not nice, they are not smooth, they are not perfect, I would say. In this case, you have really smooth images, the image quality is really good, and that makes a huge difference. Also, you can see the shading and other things, they are also different, right? Now, if you show this to anyone who is not a PyMole user or never used PyMole before, 
hardly i don't i don't think so the the person can spot the difference but clearly when you give the image to us to us to someone who is expert in the structure uh, construction or some other tools he can easily he or she can easily spot the difference and you can clearly see that the molecular structures the surface structures are more refined or defined in this figure as compared to the this one so this is very important you need to remember that by doing this you can enhance the quality of the figure and that makes a huge difference so it is important that you pay attention to the details and just only by changing one quality setting you can make a huge difference in the structure that you are uh, exploring in the pymol or you want to publish something related to that structure in pymol so this was uh, a short video tutorial to show you the powerful command that is or powerful setting that is the quality setting which can really make difference in your research i hope the video was helpful for you and if you want to see the similar kinds of videos then please stay tuned to the channel subscribe to the channel because it it helps me it motivates me to make these videos and share my knowledge on my experience i hope now you are fully aware how to use the quality setting how you can make publication quality figures in pymol